we've been thinking about ways where we can incorporate some not engineering ideas that we like to call it, but not in knowledge engineering, not by long shot, but um, into into the work we do that's happening over the in optometry. So I guess one of the things that happened is that we uh, procure the services of Gavin over here to use tech and software and architect, and uh, which has really facilitated our uh, well enabled us to, to go down this track, which is looking at ways how we can bridge some of the data and stuff we have over at optometry for um, potentially research purposes and as well as patient education and student learning as well. Okay, I've also brought Jorge over here, George, uh, who's our actual clinical the clinical guy. He's not a professional. Uh, hopefully, um, George will be able to explain some of the problems that that um, optometrists are experiencing in terms of their training and so on, okay, which would make which would bring some of these ideas to life. I think. Okay, so I just wanted to um, so what I'll we split it up into a into a, into a free part deal. So I'm going to talk, just give an overview about optometry, um, briefly explaining what we were. Um, little virtual pieces of equipment and so on. That's another sort of area again. But the main thing we're interested in here, like, and what we're interested in here is talking about aspects of um, annotated images and how they could be used to facilitate sort of teaching. And that's one sort of motivation there. Um, so folks like Jorge, they're the professional teachers, and they supervise a bunch of students. Um, the clinic itself is still largely paper driven, which means that people are running around writing stuff on bits of paper, okay, which is not a good thing to do from in terms of if you don't want to paper lying around and stuff like that. Um, but they are moving towards this thing they call visual clinic credit, which is essentially a comprehensive patient management system. Um, which includes our electronic health records and the delivery that hope will be through um, sort of tablets on Android tablets where you can walk around and uh, or have a supervisor student using a tablet and so on. So in terms of 
um, in terms of what we're thinking about. Um, it seems like a thing to come together in terms of there's this move towards our electronic <coughs> information uh, and some uh, away from and things are converting over from paper to electronic stuff. Um, more generally, there's, there is a move towards uh, simulation, e-learning, and online resources within the optometric community. So, just discussing with uh, HOD, it's you know, um, a professional, there's a professional body that puts up optometrists, and they're definitely interested in e-learning opportunities and delivering resources up through the community and so on. So, and then um, also the folks in Melbourne, for example, are using a country still in Melbourne are using actual simulator to virtually simulate what we see through gadgets and, and so on, you know, actually all, all, all this that means to improve training and way to increase patient exposures. <coughs> okay, so there's oh, several so when you come in from a tank, there are a whole bunch of Ways in which it may be measured, including you know, you have um, optical coherence photography, uh, plus images, various eye images, um, as well as measures of the actual function of the function of your eye. So, it thinks for the car now, it's actually related to the bending and power of your eye and the actual way they work as opposed to geometry. You say, and meaning that there are many different types of data. At the clinic, um, 